guys, what's popping up? I bring you love, I bring you peace, I bring you happiness, I believe to you, I bring you blessings. You take a chill pill, stick stay, and keep watching to the end of this content. I'm just ready. Are you into anything tailoring, anything sewing, anything DIY, or anything fashion designing? Oh my god, then this is the best home for you. In this channel, we eat, we breathe, we talk, we wear, we learn, we teach, we practice, we even preach fashion designing on this channel. This this is the best place for you if you're into anything of that sort. All you need to do is to click on that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell. So last time I uploaded this video on how to cut and sew a palazzo pan, it got me over 100,000 views. In fact, this is one of the videos on my channel that is doing really, really, really well. You can just go through the comment section to see how people were appreciating the video and how I've made the cutting and sewing of a palazzo pan so easy for them. Them. This time around, I'm coming with another video. This video, we shall be cutting and sewing the top part of this outfit. So this is one piece I've gone ahead to fold, and this and is the second piece. So when I was cutting these pieces, I ensured that the width was her bust circumference divided by four plus allowances I'll be needing. So here I'll mark shoulder divided by two. From that point, I'll step down by two inches. I'll go ahead and connect it to this side this way on this side i'll mark my armhole divided by two usually i use my shoulder divided by two i'll square it out to get my chest line on this side i'll mark my bust circumference divided by four plus one inches for ease and two inches for sewing allowance i'll mark the shoulder again divided by two I'll bring it again, mark it on this line. I'll create this line to get my armhole line. At the midpoint of the armhole, I'll step in by one inch and I'll make a curve from that point to this point this way. And here, I'll mark three inches for the neck width and the neck depth, I'll mark three inches. I'll connect it this way. I'll be stepping down by 3.5 inches and here i'll be marking 1.5 inches i'll just create the shape this way i'll come and add half an inch for the joining allowance for the back neck depth i'll be using 1.5 inches i'll curve that for the length of the dress i'll mark there and also add about three inches for the folding allowance now we'll go ahead and cut, but when we are cutting, let's cut the back first, okay? I'll go ahead and measure the armhole. I'll be stepping down by 4 inches and I'll make a curve. I'll measure to make sure that it's equivalent to the armhole of the shirt. And that was okay for me. Here I'll be marking the hem of the sleeve. Plus one inch for sewing allowance. Connect that. Also go ahead and cover out. I'll also be marking the length of the sleeve plus two inches for folding allowance. I also go ahead and trim that out. This is how the front was looking. This is how the back too is looking. We are going to be cutting a facing for this apron. Place. The front piece on this folded fabric piece this way i'll go ahead and cut out to get a facing i'll take it to my sewing machine and switch from this side to that side to this side and this other side that way but then i realized that the facing was very long so i just went ahead to trim it a little bit away for the back facing, I'll be folding another fabric piece that way and I'll put it on. I shall be repeating whatever I did for the front at the back too. Alright, so the back, I'll place the back facing on the back right side facing each other and I also fold. I'm going to have to attach interfacing to the neckline before sewing it. On this side too, the same thing, interfacing before sewing. I'll place the front on the back. This is the simplest way. You can just put it here and sew it this way. But if you want to make it a bit professional, you take the midpoint this way. 
mix it up with the back and then sew so at this point the interfacing must face each other and the fabric must face each other so look at it at this part again i'll take here align it open it up this way and then sew it that's half an inch okay when i'm done i'll just go ahead and also sew the sleeves before i join the sleeve i'll go ahead and fold the hem allowance and stitch i also go ahead and join the side by side 